Hi students, welcome back to Chem Archive. So in this NEET Chemistry 360 series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year NEET Chemistry exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's see what's today's problem. So this is the problem from NEET 2019. According to this problem, the compound is most difficult to protonate is. So here you see there are four compounds are given. Let's figure out together which one is the correct option for this question. So this question is based on protonation. So protonation means that when you take this any of the compound which react with acid, which readily produce this corresponding protonated compounds. So let's explore all the options one by one. So this is the first option, which is water. So water oxygen has two lone pair of electrons. So these two lone pair of electrons is available to react with acid to produce this corresponding protonated water molecule. So therefore, this reaction is simple as well as easy reaction. So let's moving on our second option, which is methanol. So now you see methanol oxygen has two lone pair of electron. So along with one methyl group here, methyl group act as a electron releasing group based on plus I effect. Therefore, availability of lone pair of electron is higher, therefore, which readily undergo protonation reaction to produce this corresponding protonated methanol. So let's moving on our third option. So which is ether. So now you see ether oxygen has two lone pair of electron along with two methyl groups. So here also methyl group act as a electron releasing group based on plus I effect. So therefore the availability of electrons in oxygen is higher which readily undergo protonation reaction to produce this corresponding protonated ether. So let's moving on fourth option. So fourth option is phenol. So phenolic oxygen has two lone pair of electron. For our convenience, we can redraw like this. So now you see this oxygen lone pair of electron which readily undergo resonance with phenyl ring system. So based on that, we can generate this many structure. So now you see this structure. So oxygen has positive charge since oxygen donate the electron to this center by resonance. So based on that, oxygen get positive charge. So here also oxygen get positive charge. Here also oxygen get positive charge. So based on that, the availability of lone pair of electron in oxygen is reduced. Therefore, this phenolic oxygen does not attack easily the acid to produce corresponding protonated phenolic intermediate. So let's move into the our question. So based on our discussion, among the four compounds, the correct compound for this question is phenol. I hope this explanation has helped you to understand this question. If you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe, Kim Markham. And finally, thanks for watching. Bye bye.